Footage has surfaced online showing a pair of Sukhoi Su-24 strike aircraft bombing targets in a forest east of Davidov Breed, a town in Kherson region in the south of Ukraine. According to the video, published by the 61st Jager Infantry Brigade of Ukrainian Ground Forces, the attack was performed by Ukrainian Air Force jets and destroyed at least one Russian tank in close proximity to Ukrainian troops. The attack was filmed from a drone, with two Su-24s coming in from the west. The aircraft release what appears to be eight parachute-retarded bombs which explode in the forest. The video then cuts to another angle showing the tank burning under the trees. If the description is true, the footage is one of the few instances of military aircraft providing close air support. Such missions typically involve airplanes or helicopters attacking targets near friendly troops and are considered extremely difficult and dangerous owing to the risk of friendly fire and the chance of being targeted by anti-aircraft weapons. Much of the footage of both Ukrainian and Russian aircraft filmed during the war so far shows aircraft launching unguided rockets after suddenly pitching up, a maneuver that extends the range of the weapon but greatly reduces its accuracy. Videos of combat aircraft performing regular bombing runs are extremely rare, a testament to the fact that the airspace above Ukraine is heavily contested and both sides have struggled to find a breach in its opponent's air defenses. Most of this footage originates from the east of the country, the regions of Donetsk and Luhansk, where the Russian Air Force seems to be able to operate with slightly more ease. However, in the south the situation seems to be more intense. As Ukraine's offensive towards Kherson started in late August, reports of Russian pilots encountering heavy resistance there began to emerge. As the first line of Russian defenses was broken on August 29, some Russian soldiers reported that they were frequently being targeted by Ukrainian aircraft. After the advance slowed down in early September, Russians seemed to have regained their footing. At least one video showed a Sukhoi Su-34 fighter bomber attacking Bilaherka, a contested village on the front line, in a low-level bombing run. The Sukhoi Su-24 Fencer, a strike aircraft, combining the features of a fighter jet and a bomber, was introduced in the 1970s and widely used across the Soviet and post-Soviet space. Scores of these aircraft were operated by both the Ukrainian and Russian Air Force when the full-scale war broke out in February 2022. Among some of earliest images of the war were photos of Ukrainian Su-24's carpet bombing the runway of Hostomel Airport, which was used by the Russians to stage early attacks on Kyiv. So, despite Russia's claim that it had managed to destroy the entire Ukrainian Air Force several times over, the Ukraine's fencers still operate on a daily basis. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.